Happy April 11th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy leveled up. She's got more health. We're at 17 now. Our damage went from D12 to 2D8, so our max damage is a whopping 16. We've got another Surge now. We're up to 3, so... She can cast uh, Luminous Shield or Solar Flare once more per page. And we have a couple of new abilities and traits. We learned the Survivalist trait, uh, which should come in very handy in our traveling days ahead. And we can now cast Healing Light. Uh, which once per rest, that's basically a free health potion. I have to say, it's feeling pretty awesome. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. That is our hourglass. You leave in the morning and set out on foot eastward towards the nearest town of Ardenstone, where you can prepare for your journey into the Dead Sands Desert beyond. Okay, I think we're headed for the Serpent Forest Guardian, if I remember correctly. You hear a gentle hum coming from your bag. Digging within, you pull out the tree spirit's hourglass. A faint warmth emanates from within. We have some things we're going to do in order here. One, inspect the hourglass. Uh, two, endure the surge. Reminder, danger sense. That doesn't sound good. Three, channel the energy. Reminder, arcane adept. Okay, the only... The only trait we have here is uh, danger sense. So... Here we go. Inspect the hourglass. Roll d20 plus intellect. Our intellect is plus zero. <laughs> we added point. We have pluses in everything except two of the things we need to roll today. Um, okay, intellect plus zero, seven. Um, that is the worst result. Um, don't we have somebody who can help us with intellect? None of our pets can, but we have this foresight flower, and that would get us the middle result. And uh, I think we're going to go ahead and use it. I'm going to take it, yeah. Wow. Yeah, the worst result's going to give us a pretty severe penalty here on the later rolls. So we're going to go ahead and use our foresight flower. I'm just going to double check that, what that does. Foresight flower. Consumed on use adds d4 to intellect on a single roll. Um, we only need one to get us into the middle tier. I don't know if four, oh, we got a four. What is it, seven plus four is 11? Does that get us? No, that's still in the middle result. Okay, the sand in the hourglass continues to pass. Looking closely, you notice it is pulsing with energy, growing brighter before fading again. Something is wrong but you don't understand the nature of it. Okay, we gotta cross off our foresight flower here. That is used. Step two, endure the surge. <laughs> D20 plus constitution. Reminder danger sense, we do have that. So we get to add two. So 14 plus two is 16, that's the best result. You steel yourself against the powerful, corrupted energy, demonstrating resilience. Okay. We would have lost some health otherwise. We are on to the third challenge here. Channel the energy. D20 plus wisdom. Reminder, arcane adept. We do not have arcane adept. Tank might be able to help us out with wisdom. We did add plus one wisdom yesterday when we leveled up. So let's see. Oh, dear. <laughs> Six. Um, plus one is seven. Um, oh, we get a bonus based on our hourglass keyword here. We, I believe, yep, brilliant hourglass. So six plus one is seven. Brilliant hourglass adds three. That's ten. Oh, we got to get to 15. That's not going to happen. 
As the surge of corrupted power courses through your body, you must concentrate on maintaining control and preventing the curse from overwhelming you, using your inner strength to resist its adverse effects, and we fail. The corrupted power resists your attempts to overcome it. It intensifies within you, causing a surge of chaotic energy that affects your control and precision. You are now cursed. <laughs> it's all in caps. I think we're supposed to write this down. If you are experiencing a curse, uh, there might be like a status fee. Maybe there might be a place we're supposed to mark this. I'm just going to write down cursed. <laughs> Um, if you're experiencing a curse, oh yeah, right there, I think we were supposed to check that box. I'm going to go ahead and check it. That's what it's there for. Okay. When asked to roll for one of your hero's traits, for example, D20 plus strength, dexterity, constitution, wisdom, intellect, or charisma, so the, all these guys over here, make this roll twice and take the lesser result. <clears throat> Among the two rolls, that's huge. This condition is removed during a rest. <laughs> we just rested. It's it's gonna be like a real time month before this calendar gives us another rest. Or if you consume a cleansing crystal, never even we've never even seen one of those cleansing crystals. Is that on our equipment? Equipment. Uh, cleansing crystal. Oh, yeah, it's up here. Consumed on use. Removes the cursed condition. Maybe we can find somewhere we can buy one. Um, rolling two D20s and taking the worst, that's, um, that's, uh, that's called disadvantage in another system, in uh, 5e. Um, and that's awful. That, uh, that's a really powerful mechanic. This is not good. Okay, well, I'm no longer feeling awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. And that, my friends, is April 11th. So <laughs> we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow if they survive the night. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching. <laughs>